The story of the class of 1948 of College Park High School in words and pictures. Here is an aerial view of our school and city auditorium from the front and from the back showing the football field bleachers. Here's another picture of our school from Main Street. And here's the old depot at the corner of Main and Harvard. We entered high school in 1944 in the last year of World War II, and we finished our course and left for greater glory in 1948. We celebrated our commencement at our baccalaureate service on Sunday morning, May 23rd, at the College Park City Auditorium. Dr. Claude H. Pritchard spoke on the life that measures up. Stell Huey and Daisy Jane Robinson sang The Holy City. On Friday evening, May 28th, we held our formal commencement ceremony at the College Park City Auditorium. There were four honor graduates recognized that night. They are seated in the center of the front row. They are Lucille Sauls, Stell Huey, Leon McGahee, and Ruby Hardigree. The silver cup Stell is holding is the Atlanta Journal Trophy for the best all-round senior. Lucille Sauls became an organist, but her life was cut short by cancer. Stell became a prominent attorney in Atlanta. Leon became a psychiatrist and medical school professor and Ruby became a missionary in Japan and a college professor. Stell Huey and Leon McGahey delivered the student addresses, Minimum Foundation Program of Education for Georgia. Houston White played a trombone solo, Thoughts of Love. Let's go back a few years before high school. Here are Eddie Harper and Corlin Proctor at age six. We came to high school mainly from three feeder schools. Here are the seventh grade pictures from those three schools. First, Eastern School in Red Oak. Row two, seated, Rosemary Sussman, Mary Fuller, and Norma Davis. Row three, Charles Hambrick, Martha Head, Floyd Cook, Barbara Mitchell, Sarah Beck, and Elizabeth Betzel. Row four, Ruby Hardigree and Joe Roberts. Next, Longino School from the west side of Main Street. Row one, Joel Hall, Henry Duffer, Jerry Hessler, Lacey Thompson, and Jerry Hunt. Row two, Daisy Jane Robinson, Sue Allman, Mary Jane Largen, Jean Ewing. Row three, James Groover, Wilburn Smith, Ray Hyde, Bob Mahan, Ed Harper, and Spencer Brewer. Row four, James Reeves, Becky Harris, Lucille Allen, Corlin Proctor, Patsy Center, Ruth Harbin, Smith Daughtry, and Stell Huey. Finally, S.R. Young School from the east side of Main Street. Row one, Charlie Woodard, Leon McGahee, and Sammy Duncan. Row two, Catherine Davis, Barbara Varnado, Elmira Linderman, Gwen Duke, and Juanita Alexander. Row three, Betty Ann Wallace, Barbara Rogers, Elizabeth Clark, Joanne Evans, and Mary Howell. Row four, Robert Adams, Fred Newsom, and H.A. Hildebrand. Before we were seniors, of course, we were juniors. There were more in our junior class than the 77 who actually graduated in 1948. Some of our junior classmates stayed another year for various reasons, like extended illness, another year of athletic eligibility, or other reasons. In the 1947 edition of the Aries, we juniors did not have individual pictures, 
only group pictures by our three homerooms. Here's homeroom 106. Row one, Carolyn Goddard, Barbara Rogers, Patsy Center, Coralyn Proctor, Jean Sutherland, Jean Ewing. Row two, Betty Ann Wallace, Verna Black, Becky Harris, Floyd Cook, Evelyn Barry, Corrine Cagle, Sarah Beck, Norma Davis. Row three, Vivian Hopkins, Juanita Alexander, Charlie Woodard, Spencer Brewer, Johnny Andrews, Joel Hall, Jerry Hunt, and Ruth Harbin. Row four, Lanny Karras, Ann Stripling, Mary Lou Leach, Joan Crawford, Gwen Duke, Wilburn Smith, Leon McGahee, and Rosemary Sussman. Here's homeroom 207. Row one, Lucille Allen, Alma Belcher, Ruby Hardegree, Mary Howell, Daisy Jane Robinson, June Underwood, Elizabeth Clark, Elmira Linderman. Row two, Robert Adams, John Blas, Sue Allman, Joyce Brock, Barbara Mitchell, Martha Head, Virginia Parton, Betty Carey, and Sammy Duncan. Row three, Smith Daughtry, Ray Hyde, Roger Weldon, Charles Hambrick, Billy Smith, Henry Duffer, James Groover, Roger Scarborough, Charles Pike, Raymond Bomar. And here's homeroom 211. Row one, Joanne Evans, Mary Fuller, Sue Allen, Barbara Varnado, Helen Bartlett, Carol Boatner, and Catherine Davis. Row two, Donald Seagraves, Stell Huey, Fred Newsom, John Conkle, Houston White, Jean Apt, Elizabeth Betzel, Carter Allgood, and Harry Lamb. Row three, Lacey Thompson, H.A. Hildebrand, Donald Morris, Arthur Rogers, Melvin Thames, James Reeves, Jerry Hessler, Bob Mahan, and Ed Harper. Of course, we had class officers. Stell Huey was president, Fred Newsom, vice president, Charlie Woodard, treasurer, and Roger Weldon, secretary. That year, the business staff of the Richardsonian was all juniors. Here they are, seated, Ruby Hardegree, Corlin Proctor, Carol Boatner, Patsy Center. Standing, Leon McGahee, Ann Striplin, Billy Smith, Carolyn Goddard, Charlie Woodard, Ruth Harbin, Betty Ann Wallace, and Jean Ewing. Here are some informal snapshots of some of us. June Underwood and Carolyn Goddard sitting on the fenders of Carolyn's car. Catherine Davis and Robert Adams in a formal pose. 